saw a house that we really like it on Redfin. Open house is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. By the time you see this, I hope we have an offer on the house. We still have a few more rooms to clear out, mainly our room. And now we found out that she accepted another offer. <laughs> we are gonna press through and see what happens Tuesday. Good morning, y'all. So we have 48 hours to get our house ready for pictures, then to sell it two days after that. And you're probably wondering, what? Sell a house? Get ready for sale? Moving. Re re right? Upgrading. Rewind. And let me Renovating. show you. <laughs> and let me show you what happened earlier this week. Y'all, we saw a house that we really like it on Redfin, plug Redfin. We were like, let's just go look at it, told our realtor. We went and looked at it and things just, they aligned y'all. The stars aligned for us and we didn't think we were gonna get it. And then about a week later, another blessing came down. And so I'm gonna show you some clips of the house. We're gonna tell you that story afterward. When we in the house and we unpack and we get settled, then we'll go back and tell you the story. But yes. until then. Cause we don't wanna jinx it. Cliffhanger. Yeah. But yeah, so now we have to like get our house ready for pictures because we got a lot of kids and junk and everything everywhere. And so we gotta clear it out, Goodwill run, trash dump run, all the things and get it ready for? Staging. And oh yeah, and we go to Cabo in about a month. So we also need to pack and get that ready. So, ooh, things don't ever happen in a very calm way for our family. It's there's nothing, always there's just, easy about our life. <laughs> no, it. it's always crazy, fast, hectic, all the things, but it's all good stuff. So that's what you're gonna be seeing. Making progress. Cleared out the countertops. I'm gonna clear this out in a little bit. <sighs> Got rid of like all the appliances. I think I'm gonna move out those two. But the goal is just for it to look neat for pictures. I'm gonna get rid of that, like so that you guys can kind of see this is the midpoint. You get in there though.
is if they put their hands down, spot in the okay. Hands down. Can you watch a mommy? Oh, Roman. Oh, he see friends, y'all. He's just looking around. All the big kids. Oh. It is time to decorate the hallway for Callie's birthday. Yeah, you see this? Packing up. Our counters have never been this bare and clean since when we moved in. We are getting ready for picture day. So we have to have everything stage ready. It is Wednesday morning. Um, pictures are in like two hours. We still have a few more rooms to clear out, mainly our room and the kids' room. Downstairs is like empty. And then open house is this weekend. It is moving very fast. Kelly's birthday was yesterday, as you see. The furnace went out, we got it fixed. It's just been a lot, a lot going on. Sometimes when it rains, it pours, but we know at the end of the, of the finish line is this new house. Things will be different. We just gotta get there. We gotta get through all of it. So you'll be seeing us clean up y'all. Let's go get this boy. Good morning. Good morning, you know today? <laughs> the house is getting pictures taken. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Uh-huh. Time to get this booty ready. Get this baby ready. Stinky booty. We did it, y'all. We cleared out the house. We ended up going to like a local restaurant to eat for the pictures to get taken. <laughs> and we tired, so tired. This whole process is so much and we're just in the beginning. Like, I'm gonna give you a tour of what we've done. Okay, y'all, so we clear it out. By the time you see this, I hope we have an offer on the house. Here's our, here's the primary room. There's the primary daddy and husband. <laughs> we just got these closets done and I don't even think I really showed you because I never did a reveal. Okay. I have never seen downstairs this empty since we moved in, y'all. This was gone. But then we cleared out the kitchen. Look at this. It is empty. The deck. And you're probably wondering, where is everything? We shoved it all in the garage. The garage is full of everything. Look at that. Today's Wednesday. Open house is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I have to keep it looking like this for the whole weekend. And then obviously, if we don't get any solid offers, then we'll we'll have like different openings that people can actually schedule for the next few weeks. I hope by the time this goes live, we got an amazing offer, but it's time to go take a nap. And also the one question that you guys listed just to clarify for me and um again it's just i i feel like we're running into a, a situation where because she hasn't had her scope yet we don't quite mm -hmm. know you know what her esophagus looks like what her stomach looks like um but you know from the last one things weren't going so well and so i just want to do whatever we can to keep her off this meds and so if that means 
low sugar, if that means, you know, no wheat or gluten, that's kind of the goal. Yeah, what the 30 came from was that before she was getting like 75 mLs for her snack. It is Friday. No. You see, that's how tired I am. It's Thursday. So we had pictures taken yesterday and the house is officially on the market. We're really excited this morning. But then Rome got the call from a real estate agent and we got some really bad news. So when you are buying a home and it's contingent on selling your home, they can accept the new offer. And I don't even think we went into like the details of how amazing things had lined up for us with this home. But the real estate agent is also the owner of the home. And her sister lives next door. And the, our lender is their aunt. Like there's just all these things that lined up. Um, they have medical needs children, special needs children next door. And we just really thought like this was all meant to be. And she accepted our offer after two other offers fell through. And now we found out that she accepted another offer. And so she gave us five days to, so by Tuesday, if we don't have an offer that we've accepted, then she's gonna give it to the other person. When we originally thought we had five to six weeks. That's what she said. I'll work with you five to six weeks. And that went to five days. So we're just really sad, <laughs> mad. A lot of different feelings right now because we'd already been envisioning ourselves in the home, getting our hopes up. And like, we just felt like realistic, like we could sell our home in six weeks. Five days is a different story. I'm mad. Rome, Rome's really angry, but there's like nothing we can do. We just got a text from a real estate agent that there's a private showing. Someone reached out, we'll do a private showing tomorrow, but it's open house all weekend. And we just gonna hope for the best at this point. Cause if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. I get there are certain factors at play in different industries. Mm -hmm. I understand the reasons for things. What I don't like is when I felt like I've been played with. Mm. I've been, can't say I've been misled because this possibility was brought to our attention. Right. But one of the i guess key factors with us is that we life is hard mm -hmm. and we've had to make things 10 times harder just to be able to do this yeah. and we made everything work everything that was asked of us like callie's birthday was on tuesday our furnace broke earlier in the week like there's just been so many things that have happened and we just kept pressing forward to make sure that we could get this house in the market, do our open house. Like we could have been celebrating Cali all weekend and we're like, okay, we gotta, we gotta grind and get this house ready and we're gonna do something low key. And so there's just been a lot going on in like the last seven days. It's been really tough. <laughs> we are gonna press through and see what happens Tuesday. Selling our home. Next thing I'll be. Can she have hugs? Oh yeah. Hello. Oh, and a kiss. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to. Kalia. I'm so sorry. Hello. Hello. We had a tea party? No. It's a beautiful smile. There we go. Hi, Lou. Oh, she's mesmerized, y'all. The band. Sing your song. No. No, sing it. I can't. It's right so hard <laughs> to say goodbye to the house we thought we had. Mm -hmm. So last time, y'all, we told you about the other offer. We are still being somewhat optimistic that we'd have our open houses. We have some people who would be interested and it didn't work out. I know that the reason why it didn't work out is because that house wasn't for us. Mm -hmm. I get that. But my issue and my thing is the number one thing that I value most is time. Mm. When you waste my time and you waste my energy, like two things that I have very little of. Like, it's a problem to me. I don't know if we're gonna get into the story about what happened, but there's... I got into the story already, and I, I feel like we're going through this, the uh, stages of grief. 
what we've been like reflecting on more and more so i told you guys how she got the other offer and she accepted it which gave us the bump notice of five days then we realized like the weekends don't count so we had till thursday a full week to sell our home and that she actually got the offer earlier in the week and the more and she thought like telling us later and accepting it later would help us out because it would give us more time to sell our home if she would have shared when she got the initial second offer that she was going to entertain it that would have been before we took pictures for our home, before we got on the how on the market, before we did the open house, all the things. And I think if we would have known, I know, if we would have known that, hey, I'm gonna take this next offer on Thursday and give you a full week to sell your home, we would have said no. Yeah, we would have we been, like, would have been no, like, this is right. a lot of work and it takes about 14 days to 30 days in our, our towns, what the stats are saying, to get a good offer and sell your home with just low inventory, low people trying to move with interest rates. So we just didn't have a fighting chance and that's what really is unfortunate that with everything we have going on in our household, we just... We're trying to get ready for Cabo. We're trying to do so many things and we put all that on pause to like really show her that we were serious about this offer and, and getting this home just to realize on the other end that she was entertaining other things. Yeah. So just, at the end of the day, I know she had a mortgage to pay and there was also some other things on her end that made it a, a way more complex than it needed to be. But yeah, so I, I was hoping we would be able to take you along in 2024, showing you our home and renovating and doing all the things, but it's just not meant to be. So we're we're focused on Cabo. We're definitely, we need a break. We need a break from just the whole real estate, housing market. And as Rome started off with, it just wasn't the home for us. So I feel like there's something bigger and better for us. There's a reason why we didn't get it but it still doesn't take away from the fact that this is just a really draining and stressful and situation. situation that we had to go through. So that's our keeping it real. Yeah. <laughs> you guys think everything's like so perfect over here. It's not. And no, there's nothing. Our life is the opposite of perfect. It is actually extremely chaotic. And I was telling Felicia this time, like, because we were both really upset. I don't get excited over anything because I'm used to disappointment. I'm used to this happening. This has happened my entire life. So I shouldn't be shocked. But the one time that I actually get excited over something, it doesn't sit right with me. Mm -mm. And of course I wanna say more, I'm not. But like you right. said, we're trying to move this way and mm -hmm. not go back to that way. So blessings to that seller, blessings to their house. And now it's like it said, time, Papa and Nana get here in a couple of days. We got Cabo in like two and a half weeks. So we ready. We ready for a vacation and the sun and the ocean. Uh, we're going to try to find a way to relive in our house with this limited space. Yeah. So yeah. stay tuned for that and what we do and how we make it. All right. Bye, guys.